All right, here we go. Look, I know I talked about it in the intro. We're going into halftime, and I have a very, very special guest that I interviewed. Um, you know, just let's put it this way. He was part of the Dreadheads. Uh, he's a former Warrior receiver, not just any receiver. He's the, you know, UH's all-time uh, receptions leader, uh, receiving touchdowns leader, and he's third in, in school history in receiving, period. Any guesses? I'm just go ahead and tell you. I got Devon Best coming up here at Halftime Show. I got a chance to catch up with my boy uh, and see what he's doing uh, lately and, and how he's enjoying retirement uh, from his unbelievable NFL career. And uh, with that, guys, let's, let's check it out. Hey, Bob, man. What's up, brother? Appreciate you uh, coming on uh, the CO2 Rundown Halftime Show, brother. It's, it's been a minute, man. Looking forward to this. In a minute, definitely, man. Looking forward to it myself. Yeah, man. Uh, well, I can tell you one thing, man. I know Hawaii misses you. Um, and look, I'm gonna start off with this. What is Devon Best doing now? Like post football, what's on your plate right now, man? I know you got the fam. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, the transition was tough, man. You know, to be honest with you, I'm still trying to figure out what my next play is, but. Besides that, uh, you know, when I was playing ball, you know, I was missing a lot of time with my family, you know, with the kids growing up, you know, my wife and my mom was pretty much raising them and her mom was, was pretty much raising the kids while I was at practice and doing my thing, man. So now the kids, uh, they are of age, you know, they, they, they know, you know, so I, I'm, I'm able to be there more in their lives, you know, drop them off, pick them up from school you know, take them to their practices, you know, take them to workouts. You know, I'm, I'm just basically a full-time dad now these days, man. So, and I'm doing a little coaching on the side as well. So uh, just trying to get my feet wet with that. I've, uh, I've had a few years to kind of practice with my, with my children, you know, as far as working them out and getting them ready and just basically using, using my experience that I learned over my football career and trying to help other kids out here in, uh, in Arizona, man. That's what's up, man. I can totally relate to all that. Uh, you know that 100%. So, uh, well, that's great to hear, man. I mean, uh, you know, there is a sacrifice in order to go out and be the best. And that's what Absolutely. you were. You went on to have a successful NFL career. So now is that time to really dive in. And, and I love it, man. Full-time dad. I love it. And, that's hey, good right. luck. W w whatever comes next, bro, I know you'll be successful there as well. Um, so here's the next question for you, bro. You know, when you got to Hawaii, you know, you made a name for yourself. You, you, you did your thing. I could tell you were very thankful for that opportunity. But what does Hawaii mean to you? And what has man, Hawaii taught you? Man, Hawaii's been uh, – it's, it's everything to me, you know. Uh, a lot of people, you know, know about my story and my situation prior to Hawaii. And, uh, you know, Hawaii was the only places that embraced me you know, like family, you know, the state, the people, uh, the football team, the coaches, everybody gave me, Hawaii gave me my second chance, man, and I'm forever grateful. And if it wasn't for that second chance, who knows where I'd be, you know, right now, you know, to this day, especially a kid coming from Oakland, California, you know, it's a lot of trouble out there, you know, so for me to have that second chance and for the people to embrace me with my flaws, uh, I was a hundred percent on board and and uh, and thankful for the opportunity, man. So I can't I can't thank the state enough, the people. Hawaii's basically taught me to have an open heart, you know. Uh, that's that's what the people show me, you know, and that's what I try to give back every day of my life, you know, as I as I go on go forward right now. Yeah, man. Hey, you could tell it was on display that you were truly thankful for playing out there, bro. It's super exciting to watch. <laughs> uh, you know, we both. We're coached by Coach June Jones. Um, he played a vital role, I think, in every player's life that he's coached. Mine's as well, yours. What's the one takeaway from Coach Jones? Right? What's the one thing that he kept telling you? What's the, the lesson that he taught you? Right? Share, share with us something about Coach Jones. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Um, you know, you know, making that transition from the NFL, I mean, from college to the NFL is tough. 
and you got guys all over the country trying to compete for a spot, trying to, you know, trying to get on the roster, trying to do their thing. But the one thing that I learned, the, you know, that, that stood out the most was, was, was the, the football IQ, you know, learning, learning how to read coverages on the run, learning how to find a soft spot in the zones, you know, <laughs> all of that, man, you know, it was, it was vital to my career. You know, and um, I was basically ahead of the curve, you know, going into camps and stuff because I knew how to read a man's body language, basically. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I'm forever grateful for Coach Jones for that. You know, Coach Jones taught me a lot of things, you know, but I think that's the one thing that really stood out. You know, he taught me how to be a pro while I was in college, you know, and that was vital to my, uh, to my career, man. Yeah, huge. I can relate to that, man. Learn how to run those routes properly. You know, we showed uh, as rookies, they're probably like scratching their head, like, bro, like, how, <laughs> how you know how to run that route? How, exactly. you know, like, June exactly. Jones, man, June Jones. Exactly. Um, all right, look, is there anyone in Hawaii you'd like? I know you thank the fans. Is there any one person, um, someone you'd like to say thank you to? You know, anyone else other than the fans? I know you've embraced, they've embraced you, but is there someone that really oh, like? Man, I, I can go on forever and ever, but, uh, you know, I would I, I would have to say uh, Jack from Barefoot Hawaii, man. I I would like to thank him, man. You know, he's been vital to you know to to just me growing as a person. You know, he's always been humble. He's always uh, showed love. You know, through 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 hard times. You know, and um, you know, I'm just forever grateful for his presence and his friendship, man. You know, like I said, there's a million people I can shout out and thank. You know, but. You know he's one of my guys, and uh, you know I, I I gotta I gotta I gotta shout him out, man. Have to. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, man. Well, listen, it's that time of the halftime show when we when I do interviews, just some rapid fire questions. So it's like first thing that comes to mind. All right, you ready okay. for this? <laughs> all right, all right. We'll see what you miss, what you're ready for. All right, here we go. Zippies or L and L barbecue? Oh, I'm gonna have to go Zippies, bro. Okay. Shaved ice or acai bowls? Right now, acai bowl. I'm sorry. Probably four years, probably three, four years ago, it would definitely be shaved ice. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> slippers, right? So, or slippers or slides? Rubber slippers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. All right. I know this one's going to be a little, uh, you know, you're going to be torn. Nike, Adidas, or Under Armour? Man. I'm gonna have to go with Adidas, man. I'm I, 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 I'm 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 a hypocrite right now because I'm wearing a Nike shirt, but I got on Adidas shoes, so I'm gonna have to go with I'm gonna have to go with Adidas, man. That's what's up. All right, last thing here, Vaughn. Closing out, just a, a message to the Keiki and the youth athletes here in Hawaii. Man, listen to your mentors, listen to your teachers, listen to your parents, man. Uh I know at times it sounds like, you know, you know, they're preaching and, you know, they're saying the same things over and over again, but they're doing it because they've been in your shoes before. They know what you're going to experience in the future and, and what's going on. And all they do is care. They want to see you succeed in whatever it is that you put your mind to. Uh, they want to see you succeed in whatever you put your heart to. So uh, just listen to them, you know, do the right thing, surround yourself around people with common goals that want to do the same thing as you and, uh, and, and, and want to stay out of trouble and, uh, you know, and, and best, best of luck, man, best of luck. And, uh, I wish them well. That's what's up, man. Well, listen, Vaughn, appreciate you, uh, popping on the seal to rundown and being part of the halftime show. Um, you know, I'm looking, I'm personally looking forward to, to seeing what's next for you. Uh, from where you've come from to, to where you've gone and things you've accomplished, man, I know the future is, is extremely bright. And uh, But for right now, hey, look, enjoy the fam. Uh, continue to, to, to coach them up and build them up. And look, brother, miss you, man. Love you. Looking forward to Love seeing you, too, you next bro. time you guys back in Hawaii. For sure. Love you, too, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Aloha. Aloha. Yes, Vaughn, thank you so much for being part of the CO2 Run on Halftime Show, brother. So proud of you. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what's next for you. Uh, and and uh, for, for all the fans, everyone watching, 
Uh, I know you guys enjoyed watching Devon Best do his thing at the Aloha Stadium every game game day. So do me a favor, throw some sevens in the in the chat right now. Uh, you know, throw some shakas in the comments to to show Devon some support, some love, and look. Also, comment what what your favorite uh, memory is of Devon Best. Was it a catch? Because I know he had a bunch of spe spectacular catches. Was it a touchdown? Uh, was it a, a moment where you got to meet him, uh, you know, at, at an autograph signing? You know, so please show that love. And uh, I'm showing love right now. You know, I'm, I, I got, I'm showing Devon some love with this green hair. You know, thanks to Hawaiian Telecom for the game day do. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to other sponsors at this moment, right? Mercedes Benz of Honolulu. Windows Hawaii and Long's Drugs. Thanks so much for being part of the show, guys. And if you want to be part of the show, reach out to the Star Advertiser on Instagram and Facebook at Star Advertiser. And reach out to me directly on Instagram at Chad Owens2. We want to feature you. We want to show you some love.